And welcome to the sketchbook challenge. I hope you didn't miss me too much uh, last week while I was gone down in the southern part of the United States teaching painting workshops. Uh, but I'm back and making some more videos to help you out with your sketchbooks. Um, today what I want to talk about is perspective a little bit more. I want to try to go into a little bit more um, explanation, I guess, on one point and two point perspective. So I'm just going to jump right into an exercise here that will help explain it. Uh, you can use just a HB or 6B pencil, or any B pencil for this, uh, for that matter. It doesn't really matter. Uh, what we're going to do is draw, just draw a line like this. Okay. And for the first thing uh, I want you to do is just draw an X on the line. Okay, that's going to be your vanishing point. And I'll just even write vanishing point. Okay, and what I want you to do next is uh, let's draw a square above our horizon line. Okay, now let's talk about our vanishing point and our horizon line a little bit. Uh, your horizon line is going to be determined basically by your perspective. If you're standing, uh, laying down on the ground, sitting in a chair, flying in an airplane, um, you know, the higher up you are, the lower your horizon line is going to be. The lower you are, the higher up it's going to appear to you. Uh, the horizon line always kind of stays in the same spot. It's all determined basically by your position. Um, so basically the horizon line really stays in the same spot in general, but uh, it's determined by your position on Earth or in space or wherever you want to be. Uh, so what happens is when an object is above the horizon line, all of the planes, and we're talking about one point perspective here, all of the planes are going to go off to that one point. So to kind of see how that works, what you can do is take a ruler, go to the bottom corner of your square, and from the horizon line vanishing point, just draw in a faint line like that. Then, from the top corner, same thing, really faint line up to that, that corner. So you can see here that these planes, if you're drawing a house, let's say you're drawing a house here, These planes on the side of the house are going to travel off to that one point. So the angle are going to be, is going to be different depending on, you know, the top angle here, since it's way higher above the horizon line, is going to be steeper because it's still going to go steep right down to that one point. Since this one's closer to the horizon line, it's going to be a little bit more level, not quite as steep. Uh, if we're talking about the opposite side here, still going to go to that same vanishing point. Just like that. Okay, we'll say, let's say that this is the bottom. You can see a little bit of the bottom of the house. Okay, this plane here, the bottom right hand edge, still going to travel off to that one vanishing point. So if the object you're drawing is above your horizon line, all of these planes are going to go down at different angles to the vanishing point. If they're closer to the horizon line, it's going to be a little less steep. If they're way higher, it's going to be more steep because they're all going to be going to that one point. And we're talking about one point perspective here. Okay, let's draw a square below the horizon line now. And let's do the same thing. Okay, so if we're drawing a house here, let's say, what if the, the house was a really long barn? Okay, and this is the side. 
it doesn't matter, they're still going to travel on that same plane to the vanishing point. And then if I were to draw, would have drawn this square perfectly, you'd be able to see this little vanishing point or this little plane up here to the vanishing point a little bit better. But you can take a little more time with this if you want to help yourself learn about the horizon line and vanishing point. Okay, so since this object is all, the whole thing is contained below the horizon line, all of my planes are going to go up to that one vanishing point. If it's further away from the horizon line, down here, it's going to go up at a steeper angle. If it's closer, it's going to be a little bit more level. Okay, so that's how you can start to figure out how to draw houses um, and things like that buildings, all that, even tree lines, even though the trees are different heights, they're going to follow that same kind of path to the vanishing point, um, but it, the top part of the tree line is going to obviously be um, varied because there's different heights to your trees. Okay, let's say there's a square now, or we're drawing a house that is half above and half below, and this is more common. The horizon line. This is if we're looking at the house, we're standing up and we're looking at the house direct on with one point perspective, you'll see that the top portion of the house is going to have a downward angle to the vanishing point. And the bottom part of the house is going to go up. So if this were the side of the house, you can see here that the top portion has a downward angle, the bottom portion has an upward angle to the vanishing point. Okay, so that's one point perspective. Let's talk Okay, now let's talk about two-point perspective. Um, for this, it's a, it gets a little more complicated, but I'm going to keep it a little bit more simple for this exercise and we'll go into more detail uh, later on down the road, but this will help you visualize how two-point perspective works. Let's start out by drawing just a line above the horizon line, a line in the middle, and then a line down below. The reason why I'm doing this is because we're seeing two different planes now instead of just one. We have two vanishing points, so there's going to be two sides that we're seeing to the house that, or building or line of trees that are both going down off to the um, vanishing point on each side. So the first thing we can do, let's just draw in a faint line from this X up to the bottom of the line. Then from the top of the line down to the X. Okay, and then from this bottom of the line down to this vanishing point. Okay, so if we had a structure or object completely above the horizon line in two-point perspective, there'd be two sides that we would see, like this, and each side would travel down to the vanishing point. Okay, and we'll say that maybe this is the bottom. Okay, so this object here, we have two vanishing points. Since everything is above, all of the planes and lines go down to each side of the vanishing point. Further away from the horizon line, up higher like this, the line's steeper. Just like in one point perspective, it just goes off into two directions to do two vanishing points. Then the closer the line, the more flat or less steep the angle is down to the vanishing point. So what if the object is split in the middle? Well, you can try it again. Draw lines from the vanishing point down to the bottom of each bottom and top of each side of the line. Okay, I didn't draw that one perfect, but you get the idea. So if the object 
house, tree line, whatever it is, is split in the middle by the horizon line. Then the bottom portion of that object or tree line, house, whatever it is, each side is going to go up to the vanishing point. Anything above the horizon line like this is going to go down to the vanishing point. Okay, so let's say if everything's contained down below. Again, Okay, just like the one point perspective, everything contained below, if an object is completely contained below the horizon line, your planes are going to go up. So the further away it is from the horizon line, the steeper the angle, and the closer, the flatter the angle. Okay, and this would actually go off to this vanishing point if you want to get really technical. And this would go off to this vanishing point, this side here, creating the top portion of the house, or the cube in this instance. Okay, but that's not going to really come into play quite as much um, unless you're drawing flat buildings uh, without a roof. So, um, you know, that that's something you should still understand and learn is that you know this side here in this plane the back plane goes off to this vanishing point and this back plane will go off to this vanishing point creating the cube itself okay one last thing we're going to do and that's talk about um, and i'll just do one not everything is going to be centered with the horizon line. So we'll draw the horizon line again, two point perspective. Okay, so sometimes um, an object, let's say the object is over here. Okay, and it's not quite split in half. Still, it's still going to go off to the same vanishing point like this. But over here, on this side, it's going to be steeper. So, depending on uh, your angle, if you're standing here, this is a person here, and you're seeing just a little bit of this side, but a lot of this side. You know, maybe this is the house you're seeing here. That's what's going to make the vanishing points um, look a little bit different. So if you're standing in the middle here and the object is off to the side, but you're still seeing two point perspective, you're going to see a broad portion here and a narrow portion here. Okay, and that gets a little more complicated, but we'll talk about that a little bit more. Another thing with this here, this vertical area is split. Um, so there's only a little piece below the horizon line and a taller piece above. So you can see here the angle is much steeper down and this is much flatter because it's closer to the horizon line. Okay, so that covers two-point perspective and one-point perspective. Try doing some of those exercises. It will really help you to understand how to draw things uh, going off to vanishing points. It will really help your perspective and understand, you know, um, how to relate certain objects within your landscapes. Okay, so we'll do a few more landscape exercises this week, but for now, practice your perspective and try to understand how it works. Uh, just remember, things above the horizon line are gonna travel down to vanishing points, things below are gonna travel up, um, and things that are split in half, like this, the top portion is gonna travel down, the bottom portion is gonna travel up. If something was directly on the horizon line, well, the bottom portion wouldn't even, you wouldn't even see it traveling off. It would just be the top portion traveling down. Okay, so that's vanishing point, horizon line, and perspective for one point and two point. 
If you have any questions, you can post the questions in the comment section underneath the video on Facebook. If you'd like to practice and show your practice, uh, just post those pictures in the comment section underneath the Facebook video as well. So I hope you're enjoying the sketchbook challenge and I hope you share with your friends and continue working on all of the exercises I post. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you again soon. Thank you.